Following the explosion and gas leak in Beaver last Sunday, Raleigh County responders reviewed the situation and how the scene was handled. Newswatch reporter Jake Karalexa shares what went right on Ritter Drive and if anything could have been done differently. One week after containing an explosion and monitoring a gas leak, four departments met at the Beaver Volunteer Fire Department for a debriefing of the situation. We had representatives from Beaver Fire Department, Gent Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, I believe that uh, we had a 911 operator that was there. We had uh, someone from Jam Care that was there. The crews were able to go through what went right at the scene. The communication right off the bat, we had the units on scene uh, to describe what was going on so that the units that were in route would have an idea before they got there. In addition to where improvements could be made, specifically with getting all responding units to the same communication channel. Assigning a tax channel a little bit earlier in the situation. Given the uncertainty of the explosion heading to the scene, Davis is satisfied with how the situation was handled, especially after the details of the debriefing. We're very pleased that we have a uh, incident of that size and magnitude and uh, for this uh, department here in the middle of southern West Virginia to be able to handle it. Davis is very familiar with his own department, but he was able to get to know the other departments better through the debriefing. That could make a difference at a scene in the future with one or more of these departments often responding to calls in the area. When you start working with these other departments, it's nice to be able to put faces with names and to be able to work together more smoothly. In Raleigh County, Jake Karalexis, Newswatch. Davis says the source of the explosion is still undetermined and remains under investigation.